Hi, this is Doogie, and I'm glad you made it this far. If you have Doogie Guys installed correctly, then an add-on button should appear on the bottom corner, and you can click on it to see if Doogie Guys Viewer is installed. And make sure the add-on is tick, and also tick load out of date add-ons, just in case. And once you have done that, click OK, and enter the game. First time you enter the game with Doogie Guys, you should notice three things on the middle top of your screen. The first one is the Doogie Guys status frame, a small Doogie Guide minimap icon that is handy for turning the guide on and off, and also the Doogie Guides arrow that is spinning in front of you. The first thing you should do is find a comfortable position for these items in your game. I would normally put the waypoint arrow just below my character, but slightly above my cast bar so it doesn't overlap. You can make your cast bar appear by clicking your hearthstone. The status frames are ideally positioned on the top right corner of your screen, and the minimap button by your minimap. Doogie Guide should automatically select the best guide for you as soon as you log in. For this example, the add-on has selected the Goldman Zone for this character. If you load a higher level character, it should also select the best guide for your level. If for some weird reason that the guide is not selected for you when you logged in, it should say no guides loaded. Simply right click on the status frame and select the leveling tab and click the suggest button. And that's it. Selecting your guide manually is also easy. Simply open the large frame and use the icon tab on the right hand side and you can easily switch to different guides for leveling, dungeon, dailies, events, achievements and professions. And selecting a guide from the selection menu will switch your current guide. The current guide tab can be found on the bottom left corner of the large frame and that is where you can view the guide that you have selected. There is also a settings menu where you can customize some of the guide's function to suit your personal preference. In this video, we will only cover the basic function. You will be able to find a video tutorial for the more advanced features in our website. One quick thing that I'll notice is that you can turn off the border of the small frame from the settings menu to make it smaller the way our guide used to be before Doogie 5. But I'm leaving the border on in this video so you can see it better. So let's follow the guide's instruction which is a yellow exclamation mark and a quest name which means accept a quest by that name. You will notice that there is a description on the waypoint error as well that says accept the quest name and the location or NPC name in brackets. The guide automatically progresses to the next step and update the error. And all you have to do here is follow the arrow and end trail on your map. Now the guide is telling me to turn in a quest. Makes sense. And accept two new quests. Careful out and I'll accept a second quest. Now it has a cog icon and a quest name on the small frame, which means complete that quest. If you ever get confused what each icon means, you can find all the icon references by right clicking on your status frame and clicking on the help tab. Now that we have done a few steps in the guide and we'll check the current guide, you'll notice that some of the steps has already been ticked. You can see here that the next two steps are a complete step or cog icon. Doogie Guide Auto Quest Watch feature will take over the quest watch for you to display only the important quest that you should complete right now. As you can see here, when the guide reaches a quest complete step, it will automatically display the two quests in your objective tracker. This will make it easier for you to track your quest. Even if you have dozens of quests in your quest log, Doogie Guys will automatically arrange the correct quest for you to watch. So the current step for us now is to complete the quest, which is Trouble in the Mines. You can always check the tooltip in the small frame as well for additional hints on what to do. I'm going to skip ahead and complete these two quests. Again, Doogie Guide should detect your progress and tell you what to do next. The current step is a new one, which is to use your Hearthstone. Notice that a new button will appear to use your Hearthstone, and you can click on it directly so you don't have to search for your bags. Now you can see that the guide will detect that you have reached your destination and tell you what to do next, which is to turn in these quests. There will be some steps such as the as you go step to, to make sure that you take note of our hints and just tick the step on the small tick box manually to go to the next step. 
Another thing that you will notice is that there is a green button for just about every step. The green button is designed to for you to recover the waypoint arrow. The waypoint arrow can be removed by right clicking on the green arrow or on the waypoint arrow. Then you can press the green button again to recover it. The green button is handy if you want to use the guide manually or if you're looking for a specific location for a specific step. You can open the large frame and press any green button to place a waypoint for that step. One more thing that you should note is that if you ever want to skip a step, you should mark it with a red X. You can do this by ticking twice on the box. Doing this will automatically skip all the steps related to that quest, including follow-up quest chains. But I don't recommend you do this for any of the Cataclysm Zone, but it is generally safe for you to do this in the Outland and Northern Zone. If you wish to skip ahead of the guide, I recommend you use the Guide Suggest button. And one more thing you should know in this Getting Started video is the Reset and Reload button. You can find the Reset and Reload button in the current guide step. If you ever get out of sync with the guide, the Reset and Reload button is the best way to get back on track. The guide will only reload the step that you have genuinely completed. All the steps that you have ticked manually will not be recovered when you click Reset and Reload. Okay, I hope this tutorial explained to you the basic use of Doogie Guides and help you get started. Be sure to watch our advanced tutorial to take advantage of the advanced features of our add-on. This is Doogie and thank you for watching.